release this video so that we can be accountable, clear, and transparent to the people of Little Rock. Moments leading up to a deadly police shooting, one man dead, an officer relieved of duty, and a mayor now calling for unity. That's how we begin tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Ketz. Well, good evening. I'm Bob Clawson. Care is Mitch McCoy is joining us now live right out of the gate from police headquarters with the very latest on this. Mitch, this was uh, released a few hours ago. Bring us up to speed because reaction is pouring in. Oh, it absolutely is. Bob and Ashley, good evening to you both. The video is about 25 minutes long. It's being called a critical incident video, and we have the dash camera footage from that. This video comes 13 days after that deadly officer-involved shooting over on Rodney Parham, where 12th Street and Canis meet. The man, Bradley Blackshire, he's 30 years old. He passed away in that shooting. Police say he was driving a stolen car at the time, and we want to show you that dash camera footage. But before we do, we want to give you a warning that the video you're about to see could be graphic to some people. If you want to, turn your volume down, leave the room, come back in about 30 seconds. Dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. He's refusing to get out of the car. Dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, dude! Just one, just one! Just one! Get out of the car! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Before that video was released, the Blackshire family had a chance to see it with the mayor. And the mayor today told us that he actually prayed with the Blackshire family. He said earlier today, before the video was released, that it would likely invoke a lot of emotion. Take a listen to the mayor. And as I ask everyone, please to remain calm as this investigation continues on and that we allow due process to carry forward. Officer Starks has been relieved of duty, which means he surrendered his badge and gun, but is still on the payroll. So where do we stand right now? We're standing at the criminal case. So that case has been forwarded on to the Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office. Right now, five different lawyers will look at all of the evidence that the police officers have collected over the last 13 days. Those five different lawyers will then decide if criminal charges would be filed against Officer Charles Starks. But right now, there's no timetable on when those charges, whether there is charges or not, could be announced. We want to reiterate that the entire critical incident video, which encompass, encompasses different angles, is available on our website at krk.com, including a statement that the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police just released within the last 30 minutes. We're live at police headquarters tonight. Mitch McCoy, KRK4 News. All right, Mitch, thanks very much. We also want to let you know that at krk.com, you can also find the entire statement released by uh, the mayor this afternoon on his, uh, his thoughts of the releasing the video, why it was released, and what he hopes to accomplish by releasing the video.